Move your little bed. Is it right here? Do what? You gotta follow my hood? I didn't do that. You gotta follow my hood? Apologize to my daughter. Bro, I ain't do nothing Yo, to her. Yo, apologize to my daughter, man. I didn't do nothing to her. You heard what the fuck I said. Yeah. Apologize to my daughter. Now. 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 Apologize to my daughter. So they went to teach her to get fired. They said he ain't do enough to stop um dad for um confronting the kids. Now here's the thing. Um I get it. You know, um you see some of these kids at the school, these are gangsters. However, they still kids. They're somebody else's kids. Right or wrong. People gonna stand beside their kids. But another thing is, dad handled this wrong. Even though I may agree with the energy, being a uh, daughter dad, but he handled it wrong. So in this case, he ended up getting locked up. From jail, you can't protect nobody or keep them safe. You understand? You can't. Um, he could have went to the office, had a conversation with the teachers, and the principal and got a, a student parent conference and sat down with the parents and went from there and maybe try to resolve the situation and teach these kids how to resolve stuff without violence. Granted, yeah, and your emotions, it's going to make you feel like that. But we got to uh, learn how to solve problems nonviolently because these still are kids. And you know what these kids are going to do? Make mistakes. But hey, I get it. Two things just happened here. The young boy in the red was like, she got pictures of my mom. So you know, she may have been antagonizing the situation and she told her dad her side of the story because that's why you had the conference to get the whole story. And for whatever reason, you know, they may have did what they did based on whatever she did. You know what I'm saying? Now on the left-hand side of the screen, you got the little tough guy. He puffing up because he ain't about to be pumped, right? Because he wasn't even talking to him initially, right? He, well, he was mumbling and he asked him he had a problem. Long story short, this is how situations escalate and turn into the streets because Joe said he gonna get his uncle. His uncle could be Billy Blue, murder, murder. Shoot him up, shoot him up. His father could be kill, kill, murder, murder. Died, came back to life three times. You understand what I'm saying? Who knows? And now when this stuff spill over into the streets and you got grown-ups pulling weapons on each other, fighting, because it's gonna turn into that because everybody's so tough, right? Everybody living in the moment. Nobody thinking about if if I get killed, he get killed, the end results of that and what we're leaving behind. We're just going to let it burn and leave ashes and smoke and now trail of emotional bliss. Because I'm going to tell you like this, five months in your t into your life sentence, you're going to be like, yo, was it really worth it? No. I'm just proving the point. I'm just proving the point that they some in here talking about my daughter, but y'all some. Yeah, you might be right when it comes to standing up to a grown man. Yeah, they might come across as some bitches, but you're a grown man. Remember that. So it's like, yeah, it's all cool being a big fish in the pond. You know what I'm saying? In a small pond, but like, yo, they kids. So what they supposed to do? I mean, like, you don't get no points for that. I mean, get it, yo. I do understand. Trust me. I've been in that situation. And I had to handle things like an adult. And things could have went left. However, you got to learn how to control your feelings. Because if you gone, who going to protect her? Who going to correct her and teach her? Like, because if, see, here's the thing. When they, if they would have sat down and had the conference, right, they would have, each parent probably could have, gotten their kids ass because you know your kid and you know what they do 
he could have talked to his daughter like, well, why you do that? Like, look, man, y'all going blah, blah, blah. They could have resolved it a whole different way. Look at you. Yeah, because you're a grown man. He's shaking. He's nervous. He got adrenaline flowing. If I got to come up here again, I'm going to slap fire on both of y'all. If I got to come up here again, I'm going to slap fire on both of y'all. You heard what I said, boy. You heard what I said, boy. You heard what I said. You heard what I said. It's another thing, kids. Do not antagonize these grown men like you don't know who he is and what he may or may not do you're putting yourself in a situation where you can get hurt you can't attack and don't poke the bear let him walk off because yeah you are shaking you 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 want to do something you, you you're raging right now but you're not going to win and you can't do stuff like that and hide behind All the right. teacher. Come over, come over here and say that. Come over here and say that. What's the problem? No, no, no. no. What's the problem? No, no, no. What's the problem? 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 What's the and that's why as an adult with great power comes great responsibility. You can't be responding to that. He probably like that, man. That's like, you can see him. And I don't know this man. He probably be in the house doing that with his lady. Who knows? I could be absolutely wrong. But all I'm trying to point out is that yo, you got to control your emotions, man. Because if any a kid could get you like that, imagine what an antagonizing woman could get you. Anything could get you if you could act like that to a kid. Right or wrong. Yeah, you showed them after now you locked up did you keep that energy over the jail maybe maybe so maybe maybe not who knows but do it matter with i mean ultimately you would have got better results if he would have sat down with the parents and had a conference. And you know what? He might have been a thousand percent right going in there the way he, because I don't know the backstory, right? It just kind of reminds me of this story when um I seen a kid getting bullied. You know, the kids record everything, right? They was bullying this kid so much, he brought a knife to school. And he's sitting there, one of the other kids is recording, and he's sitting on the desk, and the bully doing what the bully does, picking, um, antagonizing them, punking them, and all that. And I think he pushed him or punched him. And the little boy jumped off the desk and started hanging that knife in him, hanging that knife in him, chasing him out in the hallway, putting that knife in him, putting that knife in him. Ultimately, the little 16-year-old get got locked up and charged as an adult, right? Now, the, the person who was the prey became the predator, and the bully became the victim. So maybe dad had the right eye. You know, he was right probably for what happened to his daughter. But how he resolved the situation was wrong. So, like, you could be right and end up being wrong. Just like the situation with the kid being bullied and ultimately stabbed him. He went to jail, and now the bully became the victim. We got to learn how to resolve stuff, man. And we can't, you know, unfortunately, these kids in school, whoo, they the worst. But we it, it, you can't do You can't got to be above the fray, especially as men. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it was worth it. And hopefully they don't mess with her no more. And whatever she did, she don't do it to them no more. Because two sides to every story. Don't forget that. Your kid ain't no angel.